All right, guys, today we've got a treat for you. We are driving the Maserati MC20. This is a twin turbo three liter V6, makes 621 horsepower. That's made into a dual clutch, eight speed automatic transmission. We have double wishbone suspension with active dampers, a mechanical limited slip differential. This MC20 starts at $212,000. This has a bunch of options, lots of carbon fiber, carbon ceramic brakes, Sonus Faber sound system, the list goes on. We'll include everything in the description so you can peruse through that at your convenience. But today we wanna to see what this Maserati MC20 is like to drive. We've got some beautiful driving roads out here in Southern California, but before we go out, let's take you on a little bit of a walk around, show you what this looks like inside and out. Upon first impressions, this interior is stunning. We have an Alcantara and carbon fiber steering wheel, pretty nice looking infotainment, very easy to use. CarPlay, of course. Carbon fiber just everywhere, including these carbon bucket fixed back seats. Alcantara in the center area. Here's what the key looks like. This is one of the heaviest keys in the business these days. It feels really solid. We'll just leave that in there so it doesn't move around too much while we're driving. Digital rear view mirror, which is a godsend because we can't see anything out of that rear window. Of course, this is mid-engined and uh, Let's walk you around this just real quick here. You can open the door with this button right here and they open up. Look at all that exposed forged carbon. <laughs> Lots of turbo boost noises. And on the outside, this MC20 is absolutely stunning. The curb appeal, the presence, seeing this thing on the road, it's so low, so wide. It looks incredibly exotic. This paint is really something too. It kind of has a purplish, bluish sheen to it in the sunlight. Love the proportions. This is Maserati's own three liter V6. So a pretty bespoke engine for this MC20. Let's pop this show you guys what that looks like. Very decently sized trunk back here. Plenty of room for a bag. And there's that part of the Maserati MC20. Twin turbo three liter V6. Very fast, very powerful. 621 horsepower out of this. So much carbon fiber on this MC20. This rear diffuser area, rear bumper, carbon fiber spoiler. This thing is just a sight to behold. We have Bridgestone Potenza Sport tires. It's a little bit chilly out today, so we'll have to get some heat into these tires. They struggled putting down the power of this Maserati MC20 earlier, so we'll be taking this drive a little bit easy, getting to know this car. It has kind of an old school turbocharged supercar feel to it. It's very raw, very engaging, lots of feedback to the driver, but still lots of modern amenities. This seat is adjustable with height and angle, which is very nice. Good to see that. Love these doors. I mean, it looks like a supercar. It's easy enough to get into. Once you're in this cockpit, oh boy, things get serious real fast. We have a few different drive modes, wet, GT, which is kind of the comfort mode, sport, and Corsa, and then also ESC off. And then we have a couple different damper modes with these adjustable dampers. We can tune them to soft active dampers or normal, which is a little bit of a stiffer setting in sport and then stiffens up even more in Corsa. Here's our drive selector. Put in drive, manual mode, paddle shifters behind the wheel, fixed position, and uh, of course the carbon fiber. Nice looking reverse camera. Again, pretty much everything we need in this new Maserati MC20. Let's take it out on these roads and see how it drives. Oh, and we also get a front end nose lift, which we will engage. Just hold this button on the steering wheel. Super quick, super accessible. Oh, and 
my favorite part about the MC20, look at that, a single wiper. <laughs> Just like a race car. I love it. All right, check our blind spots for traffic. Nobody coming. So we're just in automatic mode, drive. This eight-speed does a great job shifting gears itself, but we are gonna take control and put us into manual mode for the canyons out here. We're in sport mode. Lots of boost noises. Great response from this eight-speed dual clutch. Engine's on the quiet side. It's a little bit more subdued than I was expecting. <laughs> Boy, is it fast though. Super direct steering. You can feel the low center of gravity and wide track from this chassis. The performance here is insane. Very fast steering ratio. Since this road is a little bit bumpy, we're gonna put us into our soft damper setting, which we can select in sport mode. It will adapt to the conditions. Brake pedal feel is fantastic, like a block of wood. This thing is wicked fast. The options list on this MC20 is extensive, about a hundred grand in extras, a little over actually. These seats are fantastic, keeping me well bolstered in here with all the G-forces that we're pulling. Watch out for the water here, let our tires dry off just a bit. I wouldn't mind a little bit more sound and drama from this powertrain. This engine is just kind of quiet. Is still an evocative sound, though, especially at low revs, and add in all the turbo noises. Not a ton of bite from these carbon ceramics upon first uh, pedal input. You really have to kind of step into them and get some pressure down there. Tons of grip from the front end. Gingerly navigating these blind corners here. A lot, of, a lot of dirt on the road today too. Southern California has seen quite a bit of flooding lately, so we need to be aware and conscious of the road conditions. This MC20 just gets the job done. It is so fast, so direct, so responsive. You are just connected to this car's steering, the throttle, the brakes, it all just kinda does exactly what your brain wants it to do. It does struggle a little bit with putting its power down. These Bridgestones feel a little bit harder than they should. launch control button here on the steering wheel, but Maserati has given us strict instructions not to do launch control on this car this week, and we will respect that. Also, I'm not 
not sure how much good it will do on this loose surface. It's not a lot of grip from a dig here. Wow. All right. On a road like this, on a day like today, the MC20 really does deliver. This is a very engaging car. I think the only area where it falls short is in the sound department. It sounds good, but it's not blowing me away. A lot of other cars in this category have really loud, really exciting V10s, V8s. And this is just a bit more muted, a bit more subtle and less evocative. that needs to be driven with respect strikes a little bit of fear and honestly I think that makes it more exciting it's not often that you get into a car these days that's just a little bit terrifying <laughs> everything is so safe and buttoned down Highlights, steering feel, driving position, the cockpit is just so evocative in this MC20. You really feel like you're in something special. The way this thing looks on the road is, is just insane. The drivetrain is good. It lacks a little bit in personality, but it makes up for it in performance. And of course, there's lots of turbocharged noises here to excite the senses. The excitement factor here comes from a little bit of terror. go through the gears here real quick sport mode it's fast it's very very fast wow okay guys well hopefully that gives you an idea of what it's like to pilot the Maserati MC20 this has been a car I've been very excited to drive, get behind the wheel of. Something that we can pretty much only experience out here in California. They're not bringing this out to Michigan and on our pothole, messy, nasty roads. And I wouldn't want to experience it anywhere else besides out here on these beautiful, beautiful stretches of pavement. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll park this, walk you around it one more time. But uh, that's a drive in the Maserati MC20. What an absolute joy. Whew. Okay, gotta come down from that adrenaline rush. My senses are heightened. <laughs> we'll raise our nose here. This all looks pretty smooth to me. Wow, what a day, what a car. Pretty phenomenal. And all you gotta do to turn it off, leave it in drive, stop start parking brake will engage and that's it oh one thing actually i forgot we have to do this we need to do a quick sound system test 
This Sonus Faber, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, not 100% sure, is the best sound system I've heard in a sports car. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I've never even heard of this brand before, but it looks like Maserati's starting to incorporate it into their vehicles. But you guys gotta listen to this. All right, so into CarPlay, sound system, test track, volume knobs right down here. We have volume controls on the steering wheel. I just feel surrounded by speakers in this. Just phenomenal, top spec sound system. I mean, I'm hearing sounds in this thing that I don't hear in most really high-end units. Um, up there in the top three best sound systems that I've heard in any car. And the fact that it's in a Maserati MC20 in this tight of a space, uh, amazing sound engineering. That'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Ah, oh, that was fun. Corsa mode. We're not gonna engage that on the street. ESC off. Ooh, sounds good though. All right, shut this off. And take another look with the view. Really nice quality feel to everything too. The doors, the fitment inside, the fit finish, everything in this Maserati is very well made, very, very well done. The carbon fiber, just, oh, it is a very special car. And in this color, looks pretty neat, even though it's kind of filthy. We had some wet roads that we were driving on earlier this week and it got a bit dirty. Whoa. But, you know, that's how it kind of should be with a supercar like this. It looks better with a bit of dirt on it. It means it's been driven. Here's where your rear view mirror camera is. Great location for that. And besides just a little bit of fear, <laughs> when you start this thing up in this morning, you've got cold tires and you get into it for the first time, a very easy car to live with. Pretty practical too. All right, plenty more videos coming for you guys later this week. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Take care.